All right, Pete, I think that's everything we need. Let's get started. What are we doing again? I told you we're going to summon a friend of mine to help with tonight's season finale. And since we are doing a film about witches, it's not only appropriate that we attempt a good old-fashioned evocation. Now, stand still while I start the ritual. And I'll not rock. Uthvas Pethud, doch yel dien In this sacred space, I call upon the powers of darkness. I cast my spirit into hell itself, seeking the one with whom I wish to call forth. Come to me, Lilito, and bring forth your daughter. Demon of lust, I compel thee. Demon? Do you really think we need a demon? What if we have Vincent Price or someone? Half demon, actually, and no, she has something that I need for the show. Stop tampering with the spell. <clears throat> demon of lust, ill-begotten child of Pope Sylvester II. Meredith, I command thee, jete commande. What about High Priestess Mimosa? Oh, or Dr. Trent. We've had him on the show before. Dr. Trent is already sitting in the castle. Stop talking, I can feel her. Meredith, child of Meridiana. I summon you to this sacred circle of protection. I... I really don't know how I feel about a succubus. What about Damon McDougal? Who? Pete, no! Oh, bloody hell. Hello, Peter. Great. Just great. Way to go, Pete. I'm sorry about that, Meredith. I was just trying to teleport you here, and my trusty first mate kind of got in the way. But, uh, I suppose it's good to know that this spell works two ways now. I'm sorry, Captain. I had no idea it'd make a difference. That's alright, Damien. It's nice having a new man around the house. So now what? Well, now I've got to try to summon you both back here all on my own. I'm not sure if all of my artifacts have enough power for that. I could just drive us. You what? My earthly home's like 20 minutes from your place. I can just brimstone us there and then drive over. If that was an option the whole time, then why did I go through all of this in the fir- You know what? Never mind. Just head out. Ah, uh, there you are, boils and ghouls. Welcome back to another episode of Damien's Dreadfuls. As always, I am your ever-so-charming host, Lord Damien McDonovan. I apologize for the delay in our Halloween festivities this evening, but uh, as you can see, we've had a bit of a uh, transporter malfunction. Entirely user error. Pete is with my special guest for tonight, and they are on their way back here to Castle Donovan. Mistress Meredith, Pete, and I will be bringing to you a special riffing of the classic documentary? Haxon, Witchcraft Through the Ages. We'll just have to push back the feature presentation until they get here. Fortunately, Haxon has two versions, and we can just use the shorter one for tonight. So while I get the castle a little bit more prepared for our guests, uh, let's start off with a bit of an appetizer. Once again, here on Damien's Dreadfuls is another episode of that classic 1939 Bela Lugosi serial, The Phantom Creeps. Tonight, Chapter 10, Phantom Footprints.
We've got to get aboard that schooner before anyone comes back with help. We can't. Some of Rankin's crowd are still on the ship. Stop your motor. I will explain what you have to do. How'd you know that we were here? I didn't. But I knew the meteorite was here. This little instrument will guide me to wherever it's hidden. Meteorite? So that's the source of Zorka's power. Yeah. But the meteorite is more dangerous than useful to you without my help. Your help? What about Zorka? Dr. Zorka's dead. That's a lie, Monk. Zorka is masquerading as Dr. Zane. We caught him with you and locked you both in his own vault. You escaped. That's right. We did escape. But Zarker only lived a few hours afterward. Take this man forward. Oh, wait a minute. K-1. 
Can you prove that Zucker's dead? If you'll come to his house with me, I'll not only prove he's dead, but I'll let you into the secrets of his laboratory. And what do you expect to get out of this? Protection first. Captain West is after me, too. I also want a 50-50 split on the price Dr. Zucker's element brings you. You put a high price on yourselves. We'll talk terms after you make good your bluff about Zucker's death. All right, bring the meteorite. We'll go ashore on Monk's boat. Any word from Captain West, Perkins? No, sir. No one has called. I think I'll have another look at Zucker's laboratory. I wouldn't go there alone, sir. That house is dangerous. If Captain West fails to recover the meteorite, I've got to gather every scrap of information I can about how to combat it. But the danger! The country's in danger. If Captain West calls, tell him where I've gone. Yes. Brown and the others. They'll be here any minute now. What's the idea of bringing a mob here? I'm not taking any chances, Monk. At the first sign of trickery, Brown and the boys will know what to do. I'm not a fool. I need your organization as much as you need me. The guards are gone. They're with West at the harbor. Taking the box inside? Yes, since we can't use the ship, we'll take it to our mountain hideout by the night train from Denver. Lead the way, and don't make any mistakes. I can put the case down and keep Monk covered. Yeah, what is this? I'm going to show you. You're going to do as you're told if you expect to get out of here alive. I don't believe the doctor's dead. I believe he's hidden somewhere in this house. be right in this room, invisible. Remember the shadow Brown saw on the ship of the man who wasn't there? Oh, forget that. Come on, search the place.
Any luck, sir? No, they tricked us. Yes. Dr. Mallory's office. Yes, sir, he just came in. To you, Captain. Oh, thanks. Hello. Yes, the mob of them, they, uh... They went into Zorka's place not more than five minutes ago. Yes, I'll take care of that, Dr. Mallory. I'll, uh, I'll have Daly and his men pick you up. All right, goodbye. Daly and his men will be right here. Will you have them pick up Dr. Mallory at Hill and Garland Road and come right to Zorka's? What's happened, Bob? Uh, nothing. You better stay here. You've been in enough trouble today. They've got the mystery box. Follow Step on a brown, there's a the train. We're heading into the station at Janberg.
All right, you. Where's the rest of your mob? I don't know what you're driving at, mister. I'm sorry. It is necessary to stop the train on this siding. Ah, that's impossible. The train can't be stopped. Very well. Then I must throw the switch myself. What? Uh, oh, Don't pull that switch. It's the derail. You show me the right one, my friend. And be quick about it. All right. I'll throw it. Talk up where the two of the suitcase are they up front? Well, if they are, you won't find them because you're not going any further. Stop! Welcome back, my little Crypt Kickers. How was The Phantom? Yes, well, there's only two more episodes in that serial, so we'll have to start looking for something new for next season. If we have a next season. Uh, incidentally, uh, go visit the Patreon page if you want to help the show grow and continue. Anyway, I'm still waiting for Pete and our special guest, Mistress Meredith, to arrive. Where can that girl be? I said, where can that girl be? Ah, there we are. Excuse me a moment. Oh, hey, Damien. I'm sorry I couldn't hear you through the door. Pete was talking about your yard setup. It's quite nice. Well, thank you. We uh, were looking to try to expand it next year, but uh, we're having a difficult time finding all the bodies. Anyway, please, come in. Come in. Please, make yourselves at home. Now, it's going to be a little crowded over here in the corner, but uh, this is the best way for us all to vidy the movie. Oh yes, introductions. Hello, um, my name's Peter Frost. Not you. Uh, boys and girls, please allow me to introduce my good friend, Mistress Meredith. Meredith is a Cambion. Do you want to tell the audience at home what that is? A Cambion is usually one of two things. Either the living child of both a succubus and an incubus, or the child of one of those demons and a mortal. In my case, my mother Mary Diana was a succubus and consort of Pope Sylvester II. Now, I've also read that the, uh, the word cambion also comes from the same base as the word for changeling. So I wonder if there is some crossover there between that and the idea of fairies and goblins swapping out babies. How you made a changeling once? Oh? Yeah, I couldn't make up his mind about anything. Anyway, 
Mistress Meredith here has something that I wanted to talk about uh, that goes along with the feature presentation. She has a copy of the Malleus Maleficarum. Yes, also known as the Witch's Hammer, or Hammer of Witches. Got it right here. This vile tome, written by German Inquisitor Heinrich Kramer, was to be the guidebook by which members of the clergy would identify and purify witches in the Middle Ages. Essentially uh, the Witch Hunter's Bible. Uh, it contained detailed passages and treatises on how to identify a witch through multiple varying tests. It also told Inquisitors how to torture these poor souls into confession and eventually execution. It... oh. It's a bit small, isn't it? I mean, it's the size of a normal book. It's 657 pages. Yeah, but the way it's been built up, I was expecting this massive leather-bound, locked-up arcane volume. The captain has bigger spell books than this. Yeah, I thought you had, like, an original copy. This just looks like a more recent uh, paperback publishing. It's not an arcane volume. It's a torture manual. I mean... It's not even that good of a read, really. You throw a little sex in it, and it's practically 50 shades of gray. Uh -oh. To be fair, King Henry's book on demonology is actually much smaller than this. It's almost more of a pamphlet, really. Yes, well, friends, have a seat and make yourselves comfortable. Now, uh, Creeps, the reason I wanted a copy of, of this for tonight is because our feature presentation is Haxen, Witchcraft Through the Ages. Sometime in 1918, Danish actor and film director Benjamin Christensen came across a copy of the Malleus Maleficarum and was so taken with its contents that he spent the next two years or so researching witchcraft in order to write his newest film. He didn't want uh, his next project to be a simple adaptation of existing works, as was the style of the time. Instead, Haxon is a written and performed almost as a documentary with dramatic recreations. But ultimately, the contents of the film were so shocking for its day that it could easily be viewed entirely as a horror film. Christensen filmed only at night or on closed stages to keep everything he filmed very dark, making any of the lighting all that much more dramatic. And in the role of Satan, Christensen cast himself, and it is quite a performance. Haxon also pioneers a lot of special effects for the time, including reverse footage, uh, special effects makeup, superimposition, uh, let's see, puppets, and even some stop-motion animation. The original music for the film has been lost over time, although some information has been found as what played at, to accompany it at a foreign premiere. Our version tonight, though, does not use any of that music. You see, Haxon is a bit long for our format, but fortunately for us, a 1968 cut of the film is just short enough. This version was put together by Metro Pictures Corporation and cuts out most of the tedious title cards. Instead, we get an eclectic and wild jazz score, accompanied by a bitter and sarcastic narration from Beat Generation author William S. Burroughs. Well, I think I've uh, talked up this film enough. What do you two say we get on with the show? All right, then. Boys and Ghouls here on Damien's Dreadfuls is the 1968 recut of Benjamin Christensen's 1922 exploration of the occult, Haxon, Witchcraft Through the Ages, with commentary. Oh, it's Hugh. Hugh Janus Films. Taco? Lock them out and bar the door. Lock them out forevermore. Nook and cranny, window, door. Most dramatic Seal English muffin commercial? Forevermore. Curse go back. Curse go back. Give my son back George the power to attack. Here and flack. Curse go back. Curse go back. Back with double pain and lack. Silver arrow through the night. Silver arrow, take thy flight. Silver arrow, seek and find. Pierce the foe, Ganon's behind. And cursing mine. Ouch. Svensk film industry. Witchcraft. Through the ages, 
cage? Great, another propaganda film by Christians. The nun, the monk, the klepto? Do they walk into a bar? Yo, Johan Anker... Anker... Anklesorf. This soundtrack is quite humorous. Uh, uh. Paul Brewer. I know they were all drunk then, at least. Oh, sleepily narrated by William Burroughs. I wonder if he catered. They had a naked lunch. The practice of witchcraft has plagued man on this planet since he first used words. Words, In the beginning words. was the word. See, furries have been around Persians for millennia. Pictured the origins of disease. Pazuzu! Illustrated the evil spirits of I can carry a jug of water on my head. Tracing these apparently indelible shadows in images which fit easily into primitive conceptions of the mystical world. Here, according to Maspero, is how the ancient Egyptians pictured the shape of the globe. Yeah, okay. Earth and water were surrounded it's by high mountains. Globe. And then the fire nation attacked. The Egyptians attacked. imagined <laughs> an iron sky held iron up sky. by pillars fixed movie. into the mountains. The stars were suspended from the sky on solid cords. I don't believe it. Others believe the sky was curved and the earth made up of terraces. In the Middle Ages, evil spirits of antiquity That's my food. were transformed hey, into son, my yearbook. prowling about everywhere to tempt mankind. The demons dwelt in the innermost parts of the earth. Oh, that's just wrong. The globe and its waters were seen as the center of the universe. Outside this, the Middle Ages postulated first a layer of air, then a layer of fire. Fuzzy. Beyond this layer of fire moved the planets. Each planet was fixed in its sphere which was mobile and transparent. Beyond the planets, the stars were attached to another sky. Ooh, a donkey. That guy's got to see a doctor, because it's got cancer. <laughs> In the outermost circle, Almighty God was enthroned, surrounded by nine angelic choirs. Oh, so boring. This is and the worst tabernacle I've ever seen. the world machinery. Hey, where's Waldo? And its oh, there he promise. is. One of which was to find yourself being put into a boiling cauldron. The original hot tub. Here, one of the damned is thrown directly into the fire. Here's a demon giving one of the damned a drink of horrid brimstone liquid. Yeah, must be coffee. Be better than that McDonald's coffee. Oh, I love these things. If you squint, you can see a sailboat. See it? There it is. Look at these two demons stoking the fire so energetically. Hieronymus is Bosch's Warhammer army. People were convinced that that the witches had made an unlawful contract with Satan, and for this deed, deserved the stake. Ooh, with broccoli and a loaded big potato? These Did two you German illustrations milk anything with nipples? show a greedy witch obtaining milk by squeezing an axe handle, Ooh. whilst another old biddy famously cast a spell on a man's shoes. I used to be an adventurer like you until it I took an error to the knee. It was the custom to hold counsel among themselves. Gretchen, stop then trying to make fetch to happen. Cow, it's not gonna happen. So it would yield no more milk. You make a fortune selling axes. Here, a sorcerer and a witch set fire to a village with a magic spell. 
Witches were also believed capable of healing the sick with powders and magic brews. Ooh, icy hot for all occasions. When the witch Plenty celebrated the, the Sabbath at night with the demons, she was stark naked. And Women who wanted to take part in these ceremonies made secret visits to the witches. Secret? Is it secret? Where is the old secret? hags rubbed their backs with magic ointment. Thanks to this procedure, they could fly to the Sabbath on broomsticks. At the Sabbath, their first duty was to profane the sacred symbol of the cross. Satan gives each participant a special name. Special. I will call him George Next, and he will be my squishy. Takes place. Decaying corpses from the gallows mm, usually made up nice. the main course. All the witches had to show their respect for Satan by kissing his ass. Whoa, language. Satan had a donkey? After an erotic caper with the demons, these women of the Fox, damned do a barrel return roll. home at first cockcrow. Famous engravings from the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Oh, there's Waldo out. again. Oh, and a wizard. Oh, there's his cane and his dog. Oh, and his glasses. Oh, there's Waldo again. Is that Saint Waldo in the middle there? No, oh, that's Saint Wally. Thousands of women declared that they had taken part in these mysterious meetings and diabolical gatherings. Yeah, you'll confess to anything if you're coerced by torture. Oh, yeah, stir that pot. Ah, oh, Zeppelin 4, yes! Sit. Deep in the heart of Texas. Where my witch is at? Dennis, there's some lovely filth down here. Cut this, push that, I'll show them all. Which thing? Oh, hand. I thought you wanted me to go out and get ham. <laughs> He's all jumping whale, but no jive. Oh, hello, father. This up. I was in the pool. Hmm. Yes. Bung hole. Does he need TP for his bung hole? Comes in tights. Oh, look at that! Oh, run, Kermit. I don't like spiders and snakes, and that ain't what it takes to love me. Knock knock, Avon calling. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. We've spotted suspicious activity involving your social security number. Oh, oh what is that? Hmm. 
smell. Oh, God. Oh, terrible. What'd that dog do? Sit, stay, play dead. Cat shirts? Uh, no, that's not what that says. Oh. And Harden something else. Me want cookie! Yum cookie! Yeah, that'll teach them. Yeah, that'll teach them. This is awful. Oh, thanks. A stronger brew. Try this one. It's love potion number nine. Oh, Kevin's letting himself go. Chug, chug, chug. I'm gonna wash this drink down with another drink. This is awful. Oh, terrible. Just terrible. But I'll drink the rest of it. Yeah. This episode of The Office is really weird. I mean, this is the weirdest version of Benny Hill I've ever seen. But where's Yakety Sax? Is that a cat running over a piano? What is this song? Let's just say you don't pay with money. Mayo? The Black Sabbath. Ay, ay, ay. Wait a minute. Lucifer's not a tree. I don't think he's really a sap either. But looking at it, I just can't believe it's not butter. Flaming kisses are not necessarily good to those not immune to fire. It's midnight. No, a it's not. town in the Middle Ages. Quick, quick, inside the house. It's a carpet. It's a carpet. Nothing else. It's just a carpet. It's still fresh. This weekend at Bernie's, 1592? This is not what I ordered. I wanted the red.
Nope, yep, she's definitely dead. Absolutely. Rub a dub dub, thanks for the grub. Saying a prayer makes everything okay. We're actually just doing it for the hell of it. Hello, boys? Boys? Are you home? Oh, nosy Nancy. How did she see the knife from there? How did she see the dead body from that angle? Ring and run! Ring and run! Such is the Middle Ages. The devil's deeds run rampant. Alright, time to walk now. What a jerk move. Sap of Lucifer, imp of Satan. You now have tinnitus. Should have gotten a booster. Do you mean tetanus? Yes, tetanus. <laughs> Enjoy your luck, job. You keep making faces like that, it's gonna stick like that, whatever. Gotta act fast. Facial drooping, arm numbness, what is it? I. Could it be. Satan? <laughs> Y'all, these Satan drums are going. Jazz really is the devil's music. <laughs> Belief in the devil was so steadfast, in fact that many people declared they had seen and touched him in person, giving incredible descriptions of this horrid individual. In a nightmare, as a seductive suitor, Satan assumes many forms. He has been seen as a prince, a peasant, a friar, a picker, a grinner, a dog, a lover, a sinner, a pebble, a joker, a pitchfork. A midnight toker? But, as legend has it, never as a pound of holy water. A pound of holy water? Oh yeah, a pound. Wait, what? Hey, you up? Three and we go. Ah, five more minutes. Satan's friend can be wonderfully young and beautiful, but she is usually wretched, old, poor, and dirty. But blessed are the meek. And there's no room in Christ's beatitudes for the ugly. Okay, that music escalated quickly. No, get off the phone now. No, wake up. Uh, After the curfew be bell is rung and all the lights are out, Satan comes looking for Apollone to escort her to the night's foul happening. I used to prefer Apollone. Oh, Lucifer's sap! I think now the, I get it. I think the mushrooms are kicking in. High in the celestial hell is the castle of Apollon, and there Satan gratifies his unspeakable secret desires. <gasps> Free unlimited turkey cheese tokens?
all the skee-ball I could play. But we'll definitely be able to pay the ferryman. Wait, is this Bitcoin? No. No, it's all Dogecoin. Oh. Much money. So wealth. Yes, it's real. It's my money, and I need it now. Call, Call JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. Hey. Put it in the chair. No, the table. Yeah, the table. Oh, moving money. Hey, you know, I'm starting to think this is just in reverse. No, don't be silly. They're actually just using a vacuum cleaner. Ah. Uh, when oh, we... No, it's one of those giant Acme magnets. Come in and know me better, man! What in the hairy house in hell is this? Oh, that's just not right. And we dance like a wave on the ocean romance. Ah, uh, the things people saw before the invention of glasses. Sorry for party rocking. Hey girl, are we gonna go get many patties? Oh, come on, come on! <laughs> it was just a dream. Always wake up before the best part. Ah, oh, Father Time! Yes, well, the Horn of Gondor calls. Does he actually know what time it is, or does he just have a hunch? Judges that's not judgments. France, that's a painting. You can see these engravings showing the judges of witches carrying out their duties. To find <laughs> out if the witch duties. is guilty, she is made to undergo the water truth. Here the witch is tied what? up, also then they take her to the deepest spot. If she floats, she is burned at the stake, and if she sinks, the judges thank God for her innocence. And if she is neutrally buoyant... You're now going to see a witch hunt during the period when the Pope had dispatched judges through all Christendom, specialized in witch hunting. Yes, because nobody ever gets sick suddenly. In medieval Europe. <laughs> hey, we've been a Saturn! Hey, I've been a Saturn! Whoa, sandworms. Hey, right? Hmm. Strangest stew I've ever made. Palin. Yes, nine out of ten dentists recommend lead. 
not yet known to cause cancer in California. And he's been a naughty boy. And now, a magic trick. Hmm. Yes. Definitely cool lead. Looks like a three-dimensional Jackson Pollock painting. What would have happened if the marks were atypical? Hello? Hello? Coming in, yes? Hey, how much do you think I could get for this? You could get poisoning. Lead poisoning. <laughs> and now it's mine. It's all mine. My father's illness. In lead form! I wish the goblins would come and take you away right now. <laughs> Hello, don't mind me. I just broke into your house. must not be a very good seamstress then. Yes, just sit here. I'm not going to give you any food, just sit here. Oh, the whoopee cushion did go off. Ha <laughs> ha, ye old farmer blow. You, you know, they invented the spoon thousands of years prior. <gasps> Can you believe she said she was hungry and now eats ravenously? She must be a witch. She's got Betty Davis signs. Doesn't look like she has eyes at all. But... Okay, but uh, why are we wearing bras on our hips? Madonna. I'm a material girl. Whoa, witchcraft. <laughs> she fit that cloak over the top of that hat? Ah, uh, this is where my parents were shot. Yes, the Joker did this. The youngest officer of the Inquisition must not exchange one word. Catwoman? With a woman. Dr. Octopus. Hey, hello, Peter. Look at me instead, huh? I'm a wise guy. This is how we make sure women don't look at us. Reverse yamulka. <laughs> she touched me. 
actual <laughs> human <laughs> contact. <laughs> I'll never watch this arm again. Hmm. She's still eating that meal. Murray, you've been sacked. Nice. She's not sneaking potions into chocolate. We're not children. All those onions. You just got sketches. What did she say about sunny beaches? Oh, son of a... The witch is dressed in purified clothes. Nice guy, eh? Magic powder hidden in her hair? It's not magic powder, it's just dandruff. The accused spend their nights as the judges see fit. Two men try to make her confess. Two men now enter, watch. one man leave. This is the tough cop and the con cop technique. Still used in police stations of the world. I'll take you out for coffee. No, we won't. Yes, of course, coffee and donuts. No, no donuts for you. Yes, donuts and coffee. You're tearing me apart! If the woman persists in denial, they resort to religious methods. You mean these weren't religious methods in the first place? Oh, they caught him in the pew. Pew! Pew! Wait, these are just the seven dirty words you can't say on television. I don't want to smell your socks. Blessed cord. The cable cord. The HDMI cord. The Ethernet. Then, if she is still obstinate, they throw her into the torture chamber. But from behind, so that she oh, cannot cast a spell on the judges. This one time at band camp. Obstinacy? Ah, this portion of the film directed by Quentin Tarantino. Tickle, tickle, tickle! Oh, these are for teeth! Make it up! That's what they do!
Oh, she really doesn't want to smell those socks. <laughs> Duty. See, the church invented Shibari. Bon Jovi! It's more like a young Ozzy Osbourne. Fast the children of Satan. Whoa. Well, that's not really any way to talk about your kids, but I mean... Oh! Oh! It's Mac! <laughs> it's Mac... Where's me? Oh, yuck! It puts the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. You, my pretty, and you're my little dog, too. They're going up for a night on Bald Mountain. I bet that owl's David Bowie. Look at him. Oh. Who? Who? The, the, the owl, the, the owl right there. Who? Who? David, David, ah, forget it. No flying cars, no flying cars. Oh, more Lucifer sap. I think I've seen that guy at Coachella. Smaller, smaller, smaller circles. No, I said smaller circles. What are you doing, smaller? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Grandmother, how old is Satan? That configuration wouldn't do anything. You gotta have the candelabras opposite sides, and then they gotta be facing north and south. Now roll for initiative! I told you to hold on to my hips! It's not weird. Why do I always gotta be the back end of the horse? Nay! Confuse the cat! <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair! Some people enjoy it. Is that Jenny Kathy? All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. That's Chatty Cathy. Oh no, no, that's Tammy Tinkle. At least it's not Little Baby Laughs a lot. That doll is creepy. Oh look, it's Guar! <laughs> and the first floor groupies. Oh, 
Lucifer, stop! Stop it! I just <laughs> can't believe this story you're telling me. It's just so much fun. <laughs> That's such a stupid story. <laughs> oh, well, but this is just, this is just something else. Zerberts! <laughs> I like that very much. Oh, yeah, now I see the blame game. Is this why the director cast himself as Satan? Well, absolutely. Wouldn't you like everyone to kiss your arse? Take that scribe down to the pharmacy. We're taking a break from the full instrumental. What kind of magic spell is this? Well, it's just like the music. It's... Scat. I don't think this is what they meant by house sitting. <laughs> you put your left cheek in, you put your left oh, cheek in. Oh, scat. It's now I get poop it. again. What about the rabbits? Thus, the machinery of the law was set in no motion. No such thing as machines yet. Every tortured witch denounced another dozen. And the soldiers in the town were seldom idle. Idle hands are the devil's plaything. Man, these, they're really cutting onions. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. This is the German Inquisition. These floors are really dusty. Oh no! Tots and pears. It's a good thing she was already wearing those bandages on her head. Time to make the donuts. Wait! I've I've seen her. She was hitting little Nicky. That's for the hat bra. It is a bra! Anyone who hindered the arrest of a witch was considered an accomplice. Thus, the fate of young Anna, Jess Billerillium's wife, was settled. Only two members of Jess Billerillium's unfortunate household now remain. Oh, a wedding! I love this part! What is this, a Bauhaus album? Nothing. And he was in Depeche Mode. Oh, wait a second, I've seen this movie. Now, show me on the doll. 
step brother, what are you doing? <laughs> Cat of nine tails. Call me Catwoman. The safe word is pineapple. In the hills, the lonely goat herd lay on the lay on the lay. Must be stepping on Legos. There, there. Ah, how to defraud the government. Yes. All those onions. Human yearning and for touch. How will he ever get back into the club? Oh, it hurts so good. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Richard Pryor! Sign here. Deed to your house. A chocolate sundae? Testify. Fine, I'll draw Garfield. Anna has been arrested. And you must be this tall to, to ride this ride. For confession. Wait, what? All those onions that she can't cry? Suppose the young woman resists, and that no menace, no torture... No menace to society? Confess. How did the judges react? Hello? Goodbye. <laughs> Give me these, uh, yes. I'll take your waste, yes. And here's your water. Is now really a good time to tune your guitar? Are you done yet? How can she stand? Oh, hopefully she doesn't get stocks home soon, drum. Boo! <laughs> Come on, I know you've been sitting here for days. Sat on the toilet too long, I see. Legs fell asleep. Fesic took great care in reviving his friend Indigo. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
You go that way. I'll go home. <laughs> this smells funny. Of course. Too many cell phone games on the toilet. Oh. <laughs> Quid pro quo, please. Uh, clean my toilets? That's it. That's not how water works. Drink more. Drink more. It's waste. This is the saddest episode of laughing ever. Must be Dear Evan Johansson, because he's waving through a window. This is Europe, they use court meters. Just just go over there for now. She won't know the difference. Keep her moving. The jailers are going away, haha. <laughs> the jailers are going away. This is literally entrapment. Take your... Scare her with the baby. Wait. So if you don't cry, you're a witch. But if you cry, you're a witch. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I'm starting to think they're just making this stuff up. Welcome to the world of religion. Hi, I'm Crazy Eddie. I put babies on spikes. You want to rack a baby? You gotta take this water, toss it, get a metal sheet, and shake it, and... Say! You know how water works! You must be a witch!
And that's how they'll burn you too, young woman. In honor I'm of not God, a woman. I'm... And as a lesson to others. After setting up stake after stake, and cleaning out all the witches in town, the judges move on to the next, bearing the good tidings. They good do tidings of death. And go. We killed everyone like in this town, epidemic, we did. The madness of witchcraft spreads wherever these judges settle down. In two centuries, <laughs> maybe they should stop going places. Burned alive at the stake for the crime of witchcraft. We must be at Hogwarts. The accounts given by the witches. Are no, so it's just more furries. That they satisfy the most exacting judges. This is clearly Plus, Dumbledore's office. Numerous offense. women confessed that they had changed themselves into cats. The minister's cat. Polluted the altar. The minister's while cat. While demons well. in animal form. Wily cat. Watch the church door. Uh, should we be seeing this? We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Some women were burned at the stake after being accused of bewitching conjugal beds by making knots. But not Each now. Knot would prevent a pregnancy. Let's call the vasectomy. It's a magic knot of impotence, the dreaded conjugal evil. With the help of a witch's hair and a metallic cross, all the happiness of a home could be destroyed once and for all. Tell that to all the Italians. Not, not magic. Does not work that way. Understand clearly the confessions of the witches. Take a look at the instruments of torture. That oh, made. jigsaw! I ca I call this one Leonardo da Vinci. I pinch you. There's little doubt that any one of us would confess incredible things with the help of such arguments. A horseshoe. Oh, wait, that's wrong. The French doctor, Paul Reignard, describes the way in which this very special collar was used. It is held by four tightly stretched cords. The wrists and ankles of the victim are fastened to two iron bars. A blazing basin is brought in. Seems like too much work. <laughs> that's what we call this engraving is entitled bondage. After the Yes, this man is definitely dead. At the start of the questioning, a light torture was used. The thumb screw, for example. Oh, it's so fun to be tortured. Ha 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 ha. Oh, 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 turn it off. Oh, yeah, there we go. The majority of convents in the Middle Ages Fear of the devil reached hysteria. Mass hysteria. The nuns took to flagellation and to mortification. And bad habits. And lesbianism. It sounds like a lot of nonsense to me. No more cookies. Oh! No more cookies! When one of the sisters was afflicted with infernal visions, the whole convent would soon fall prey to this madness. Raving mystical lunacy, enigmatic and contagious madness, leading to excesses of sacrilegious and erotic behavior. In accounts which are still preserved, these women have told with striking simplicity This is my knife how box. the devil penetrated the convent. God knows what horrible delusions these women went through before they were invaded by madness. They confessed in despair. We were provoked by the devil. Hi, me, Satan. That Dave Grohl's really hitting those drums. Must scare other nuns. Must scare other nuns. How do you solve a problem like Maria? Is 
the nun in the cloister with a knife. She's really against cookies. Oh, it's only a weather thing. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's actually the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. A demon traffic controller. <laughs> Everything's fine now. I'll go back to my room. You look <laughs> ridiculous. This prequel to Sister Act is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, the jitterbug! Excellent! Now we know where it was made. All the nuns go crazy. We call that mass hysteria. Kungaline! of dance this is mine now thank you I'm taking this This is my child. Normally the baby's the one that spits up. He's wearing a big white robe and holding a cross. <laughs> we now pass to present time, 1920. Oh yeah, present the time. Witches in former time. Twenty twenty. Yes. <laughs> the roaring twenties. Thus, many women. Shady pines, ma. Only this is my twin. And today, as of old, they are the first to believe in the devil. The old woman who plays Mary the seamstress in this movie lifted up her weary head one day and said, Picture this, Sicily, 1922. I saw him one evening, sitting on the edge of my bed. This little book belonged to her, and it shows how the devil can be recognized. The madness of witchcraft is closely related certain psychopathic states encountered in neuropsychiatry. In the following scenes, the same actress plays the role of several mentally disturbed patients, all of the same type. She typecast? This young hypersensitive girl is a sleepwalker. Must be Gen During Z. Sleep, uh, she can't be. Woman does She's not woke. She most. Like the witch provoked by the devil. This young woman was forced, asleep or awake, to yield... Walk towards the camera, yes, yes, don't fall... Like oh, watch out for the... Oh, oh. oh fire! Wow. Is this idea related to her morbid terror of fire 
No. But she has suffered agonies since her house was burned down one night. Sure, we'll go with that. She explains that she feels a struggle with an extraneous will stronger than her own. Who's Will? Why is he strangling her? Is there not a certain affinity between the witch and this sleepwalker who wanders at night through the sleeping house? Not a creature worth stirring, not even a mouse. Doesn't she remind us of the nun who, provoked by the devil, well, yeah, they're the, the same actress. The convent? This unfortunate woman does in her sleep that which, in a waking state, she fears most of all. Oh, I bet she pooped. These states fall into the category of psychic illness we call hysteria today. Remember the witch who was visited by the devil at night? It was the only half an hour ago, I hope so. She's not visited by the devil, but sometimes by an artist, a fashionable religious teacher. A goose! By a famous doctor <laughs> who comes to disturb the peace of her dreams. Dr. Kevorkian. Madam, I'm here about your feet. Yes, your feet. The hysteric always asserts that her visitors entered through the window or by passing through the wall. Because I'm the ghost of Smokey Joe. You got ghosts in your blood. You should do cocaine about Notice it. Notice how this unconscious woman clings to the bed. Among the real sufferings of the hysteric, there are more than a few pretenses. Oh, you mean pretentious. Ah, sleep paralysis demons are like that. Harder. The Middle Ages believe that during the Sabbath, the devil marked the witch's naked body with spots in order to make it numb. I don't see spots. In fact, the torturer often found insensitive and numb spots on the back of the accused. I'm pretty sure the monks were the ones that were insensitive. Yes, I'm barely touching her. She can't feel it. That's because the prick is right in front of me! Whoopsie! Today, this curious insensitivity is known as one of the symptoms of hysteria. And one of the funniest women I've ever seen. Can you feel me now? My neck, my back. Take two spoonfuls of cocaine and call me in the morning. Now, down to billing. This is how much I'll charge you. someone daring this saxophonist to do this? Oh, that's what that is. First I thought it was a didgeridoo. Didgeridon't. You don't need a second opinion. <laughs> you got a really nice daughter there. It'd be a shame if something happened to her. Afflicted young woman, in the Middle Ages you were exposed to the harshness of the church. She and stole now it again. You were in the grip of civic law. These are quite lovely, but I was looking to have breakfast at Tiffany's.
and I'll just put this in my... Oh, hello! You stole from me? How dare you steal from me? You must pay the rent! But I can't pay the rent! <laughs> Run away! Just run away! They don't even know who you are! Run! Well, these are mine! And these are mine! And these are mine! No, my cards all stay home. They don't visit anyone. Ah, oh, your vaccine card, I see. Yes, yes, your phone number. Yes, it's right here. Six. Every job I've applied to said that. <laughs> Where shall I go? What shall I do? <laughs> She's, She's just, just a, a poor, poor girl from, from a poor family. family. Yeah, the war. You, you know the one. The fashion war. It was that great big war. I mean, it's 1922. It was the war to end all wars. We'll never have another one. I bet there's an onion in that purse. Don't... Don't admit to other crimes, are you nuts? My hovercraft is full of eels. Oh, I hope he believes my crying. <laughs> Until you actually have money. The poor Winona Ryder. With the passing centuries, the god of the Middle Ages is no longer in his circle. No, oh, thank God. Angelic no, he's not there. Oh. <laughs> we no longer Ooh, prostrate Godzilla. ourselves in agony in front of the pictures on church walls. I've never seen that in a church before. The witch no longer rides That's a plane. The on her broomstick. Nope, oh, they drop bombs on the Nazis. But is not superstition still rife among us? Is there such a difference between the witch of yesteryear and the clairvoyant of today? They're the same thing. We don't burn old women today, but aren't they wretched in a different way? Ooh, girl, you wretched. And the hysterical woman with the strange behavior, isn't she still something of an enigma to us? No. Nowadays, we can find such women to the lunatic asylum, or if the woman be rich, into a modern clinic with her. Now and that's there, the, the same thing. Shower has replaced or do they get into the right wing politics? But the enigma of the devil remains. Oh. And yeah. will no doubt Biden. remain unsolved. The barbecue is until the death getting of the last out of hand. Our woman. All the enemies will be fine. <gasps> this was the end. So, um, what did you think? <laughs> oh, oh, that was a hoot. What a load of bollocks. Absolutely hilarious.
What a crock. Like someone would ever believe this rubbish. Oh, but they did. What? Kramer's book Melis Maleficarum was extremely influential in the next few centuries. Not because of the church, mind you. Right. Uh, Kramer was actually ostracized from the church after publishing the Malleus. But because it came out in the early years of the printing press, it was extremely popular with the public, despite being condemned by the church for its illegal methods and its inconsistencies with Catholicism's canon views on demonology. Another example of popular fiction being more influential on earlier Christianity than the actual Bible. Nonetheless, it remained in circulation and was influential even up to Cotton Mather and his bungling of the Salem witch trials 200 years later. Uh, two centuries of false outrage, mass hysteria, and murder, all stemming from one man's lunacy and quest for revenge against a woman who mocked him in public and was turning the local population against him. We got to see a little of Kramer's story here in the movie, too. The uh, reenactment of the French nobleman who took ill was actually part of the initial incident that led to Kramer's obsession. And to think that before this one-man war on women, most secular and religious courts at the time considered sorcery to be a minor offense, and not at all aligned with Satan. Captain, you aligned with Satan once, didn't you? Who do tell? Oh, look, it was a long time ago, and it was a one-night thing, and... Oh, look at that, we're out of time. Um, despite Haxon's lukewarm reception when it was originally released in 1922, the film actually has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 91%, the second highest score of any film on my show, right after last season's Halloween special Nosferatu. Incidentally, Haxon and Nosferatu were only released about six months apart from each other. Modern film historians are torn as to what uh, Christensen's intention was for Haxon. Some have postulated that this was indeed a very serious study of the subject and an attempt to liken it to the pop psychology study of female hysteria of his day. Others have suggested, as you may have gathered from Burroughs' narration, that Haxon may be seen more so as a study and condemnation of society's and especially the church's treatment of women throughout the ages. Either way, Haxon has been lauded as Christensen's best work and has uh, lasted nearly a century now as one of the most extremely influential films in history. Just ask the Blair Witch. Oh, lovely girl. Anyway, uh, I think that will be all for us tonight, bulls and ghouls. Thank you again for joining me on another episode of Damien's Dreadfuls. As always, I have been your ever-so-charming host, Lord Damien McDonovan. With me tonight have been my friends, Pickpocket Pete and the Mistress Meredith. Until next time, have a ghastly evening. Oh yeah, and uh, happy, happy Halloween! Halloween.